Alo-Alo is not only a symbol of comedy sitcom, but also a symbol of British TV, leaving a deep impression on the audiences around the world. With the context of World War II and the tangled stories surrounding René Artois' cafe, the film has brought endless laughter thanks to its subtle humor, ironic situations, and unique characters. More than three decades have passed since Alo Alo ended. Have you ever wondered what the cast of those days are like now? Let's look back at the familiar faces who have been attached to the childhoods of many generations and explore the journey from the spotlight to a surprising present life. Gordon Kay played René Artois, a cafe owner in a small town in France during World War II. René is a smart, skillful man who always finds a way to survive difficult situations. He is often caught up in the plots of both the Germans and the Resistance while trying to keep his romantic relationship with female service members a secret. From 1982 when filming, Gordon Kay was 41. Sadly, he passed away on January 23, 2017 at 75 after a long illness. Gordon had a rich acting career, including roles in Coronation Street and Porridge. He lived a peaceful life in Nairsboro, England, and is remembered as a talented actor and a beloved colleague. Richard Marner played Colonel Kurt von Strom, a corrupt German officer who always seeks to profit from the war. Von Strom is often caught up in complex plots and tries to keep his illegal activities a secret. In 1982 when filming, Richard Warner was 61. Sadly, he passed away on March 18, 2004 at 82. He had a rich acting career, including roles in The Spy Who Loved Me and You Rang My Lord. He was born in Russia and emigrated to England in 1946. He married Josephine Marner and they had a daughter named Philippa. He lived a peaceful life in Perth, Scotland until his death. Kirsten Cook played Michelle Dubois, a brave resistance fighter who always had both plans to fight the Germans. Michelle is famous for the saying, listen very carefully, I will say this only once, and always calls his humor situation with her assertiveness. In 1982 when filming, Kirsten Cook was 30 years old. Now she's 71 and still participates in artistic activities. She is married and has four children. She has appeared in various films and TV shows, including Chuckle Vision and The Upper Hand. In addition to acting, she is also involved in charity activities and is a lover of arts and culture. Arthur Bostrom played Officer Crabtree, a British police officer who disguises himself as a French man and speaks very poor French. Crabtree is famous for his grammatically incorrect statements and mispronunciations, causing many humorous situations. In 1985 when filming, Arthur Bostrom was 30 years old. Now he is 69 and still participates in artistic activities. Arthur was born in Rugby, Warwickshire and had a rich acting career, including roles in Miss Maple and Doctors. He lives in Liverpool and is an avid writer and film producer. He also loves traveling and often participates in cultural and artistic activities. Carmen Silvera played Edith Artois, Renée's wife, a resilient woman who always tried to help her husband in difficult situations. Edith often sang in her cafe, although her voice was not appreciated. In 1982 when filming, Carmen Silvera was 60 years old. Sadly, she passed away on August 3, 2002 at 80 years old after being diagnosed with lung cancer. She had a rich acting career, including roles on Doctor Who and Death's Army. She lived a peaceful life in Danville Hall, a nursing home for actors and entertainment professionals in London until her death. Richard Gibson played her out of flick, a cold and ruthless Gestapo officer who always seeks to control everyone around him. Strick is famous for strict and uncompromising personality, often causing tense and humorous situations. In 1982 when filming, Richard Gibson was 28. Now he's 70 years old and still participates in artistic activities. Richard was born in England and has a rich acting career, including roles in Bryce Head Revisited and The Bill. He lives a peaceful life in London and often participates in charity activities. He is also a lover of travel and often explores different countries. Vicky Michelle played Yvette Koch Blanche, a seductive waitress and Renee's lover. Yvette is a smart, brave woman who is always ready to help Renee in every situation. In 1982 when filming, Vicky Michelle was 32. Now she is 73 years old and still participates in artistic activities. Vicky married Graham Fowler in 1974 and they had a daughter named Louise. She has appeared in various films and TV shows, including Emmerdale and EastEnders. Vicky is also a radio host and participates in charity activities. She is also a successful entrepreneur and owns a film production company. Sue Hodge played Mimi Labong, a petite and brave waitress and Renee's cafe. Mimi is famous for a cheerful, enthusiastic personality and is always ready to help Renee in difficult situations. In 1987 when filming, Sue Hodge was 30 years old. Now she is 67 years old and still participates in artistic activities. Sue married Keith Paddington Richards in 2003 and they lived a quiet life in Essex. He has appeared in various films and TV shows, including The Bill and Casualty. In addition to acting, she also participated in travel shows and is a TV presenter. She also wrote the book Mimi's Memoirs about her time participating in Alo Alo. 
Kim Hartman played Private Helga Gerhardt, a seductive female German soldier who is always loyal to her superior officers. Helga often causes humorous situations with her romance and always finds a way to seduce German officers. In 1982 when filming, Kim Hartman was 30 years old. Now she's 72 and still participates in artistic activities. She married John Nolan in 1975 and they have two children, Miranda and Tom. She has appeared in various films and TV shows, including Casualty and The British Empire. In addition to acting, she also participates in travel shows and is a TV host. Guy Steiner played Lieutenant Hubert Gruber, a shy German officer who has a special crush on Rene. Gruber often causes humorous situations with his romance and always tries to help Rene in difficult situations. In 1982 when filming, Guy Steiner was 35. Now he's 76 and still participates in artistic activities. He was born in New York and raised in England. He has appeared in various films and TV shows, including Doctor Who and Star Trek Enterprise. He lives a peaceful life in Chestham, England, and is an avid writer and film producer. Nicholas Franco played flying officer Carstairs, a British pilot who was shot down and had to hide from Germans. Carstairs often causes humorous situations with his optimism and fighting spirit. In 1982 when filming, Nicholas Franco was 28. Now he's 70 years old and no longer acts regularly. He now lives and works in Cambridge, England and as a software engineer. Previously, he worked for major technology companies such as Qualcomm, Nokia, and Symbian. He also worked as a math teacher at several schools in England. Hilary Minster played General Eric von Klinkerhofen, a strict and ruthless German officer who always seeks to control everyone around him. Von Klinkerhofen is famous for his cold and uncompromising personality, often causing tense and humorous situations. In 1984 when filming, Hilary Minster was 40 years old. Sadly, he passed away on November 24, 1999 at 55 after being diagnosed with cancer. He was born in Surrey, England and had a rich acting career, including roles in Doctor Who and A Bridge Too Far. He married Christine A. Parkinson and they have four children, Leo, Kona, Jack and Lyle. She lived a peaceful life in London and is remembered as a talented actress and a beloved colleague. Rose Hill played Madame Fanny, Eddie's mother, and an older woman who still retains her mischievousness and optimism. She often causes humorous situations with her romance and past stories. In 1982 when filming, Rose Hill was 68. Sadly, she passed away on December 22, 2003 at 89. She had a rich acting career, including roles in The Benny Hill Show and Upstairs, Downstairs. She lived a peaceful life in Hove, England, and is remembered as a talented actress and a beloved colleague. Kenneth Garner played Monsieur Alphonse, an undertaker who always has special feelings for Edith. Alphonse is famous for his romantic personality and often causes humorous situations with his romance. In 1984 when filming, Kenneth Garner was 66. Sadly, he passed away on November 28, 1993 at 75 after being diagnosed with cancer. He has had a rich acting career, including roles in the Carry On series. He's been married to Margaret Knox since 1942 and they have a son named Jeremy. He lived a quiet life in South Harrow, Greater London, and is remembered as a talented actor and a beloved colleague. John D. Collins played flying officer Fairfax, a British pilot who was shot down and had to hide from the Germans. Fairfax often causes humorous situations with his optimism and fighting spirit. In 1982 when filming, John D. Collins was 40 years old. Now he's 82 and still participates in artistic activities. He has appeared in various films and TV shows, including Doctor Who and The British Empire. He lives a peaceful life in London and is a lover of music and art. John is also involved in charity activities and is a beloved colleague and friend. John Lewis Mancy played her Engelbert von Smallhausen, a clumsy Gestapo officer who is always controlled by her flick. Von Smallhausen is famous for his goofy personality and often causes humor situations. In 1985 when filming, John Lewis Mancy was 59. Sadly, he passed away on August 6, 2010 at 83 after being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and lung cancer. John had a rich acting career, including roles in The Italian Job and Help. He lived a quiet life in Berwick, East Sussex, and is remembered as a talented actor and a beloved colleague. Gavin Richards played Captain Alberto Bertorelli, a romantic Italian officer who always tries to seduce women around him. Bertorelli is famous for his humorous personality and often causes romantic and humorous situations. In 1987 when filming, Gavin Richards was 41. Now he's 78 and still participates in artistic activities. Gavin was born in Tufnell Park, London and had a rich acting career, including roles in EastEnders and Coronation Street. He married Tamara Henry and they had three children. Gavin lives a peaceful life in London and is an avid writer and film producer. He also wrote and directed many successful plays, including Accidental Death of an Anarchist. 
Jack Cage plays Roger Leclerc, a member of the French Resistance, who tries to keep Rene in difficult situations. Leclerc is famous for his cheerful, enthusiastic personality and often causes humor situations. In 1982 when filming, Jack was 69. Sadly, he passed away on July 4, 1989, at 76. He was born in London and had a rich acting career, including roles in Dad's Army and Are You Being Served. He married Sibyl Dunn and they have two children. He lived a peaceful life in London and is remembered as a talented actor and a beloved colleague. Sam Kelly played Captain Hans Gehring, a shy German officer, who is always caught up in funny situations caused by Rene. Gehring is famous for his cheerful personality and often causes humor situations. In 1982 when filming, Sam Kelly was 39. Sadly, he passed away on June 14, 2014 at 70 after being diagnosed with cancer. Sam was born in Salford, Lancashire and has a rich acting career, including roles in Porridge and Barbara. He lived a peaceful life in Asher, Surrey, and is remembered as a talented actor and a beloved colleague. Sam had a long-term relationship with journalist and psychologist Grace Piniacek until her death in 2009. Who is your favorite character in Alo Alo? And what do you think when some actors are passed away? Leave your comments below this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to wait for my next videos. Thank you.